Okay, let's dive into the water and uh, start a new project uh, by clicking this button, open a project, and then on this blue button, open a project. Over here, you can create a new folder. Um, uh, let's say a D3, uh, D3 will do, and select, select it and so click on the select folder. And you can see on the left side, over here on the left pane, um, we have our uh, folder. By clicking on it, uh, by right clicking on it, and, and selecting a new file or just going to this file menu and new file, we can create a new file on this uh, specific uh, folder. So again, new file. Over here, it will ask you a path for this new file. Um, since I'm, I wanna create my file in this specific directory, I'm just gonna give the file name. <clears throat> and in this case, let's call it d3.html. Okay, now let's um, start to fill um, some a basic a basic template um, that we're gonna start using. I just uh, paste in um, this um, small um, piece of uh, HTML code. I have the doc type, which is HTML. I have uh, this uh, tag for HTML. Um, inside of it, I have the header head tag inside I have meta uh, and also oh, sorry title um, and in here we have a body which is an empty body for the moment um, let's save that <clears throat> second file I want to create is um, by clicking over here a new file is a style sheet um, let's call it sorry style dot CSS Okay, you see it's created over here. For the moment, I'm going to leave that empty. But inside my HTML page, uh, I'm going to put uh, this piece of code, which uh, links our uh, HTML file to the new CSS uh, file that we've created. Um, I'm going to uh, click on Control S to save that, or just go over here, Control S and save. We're gonna create a new file. Right click on this new file, and I'll I'll call it uh, d3.v4.js, and hit enter. Um, this file created. It is empty for the moment, and um, I'm gonna go to a web page <clears throat> with this address. Um, it is called um, d3.js. Sorry, .org slash d3 dot v4 dot js this is basically the the package uh, the model for uh, d3 uh, version 4 i'll click on ctrl a for selecting all right click copy go back to item and just paste it paste it in okay you see it is over here let's ctrl s to save that file and Right now, I've downloaded uh, this file um, to my uh, computer because I want to work on this uh, with with this file um, offline. Um, some people also reference to that specific uh, web page, to this specific uh, address, um, but this is better for uh, online. Uh, if you want to work with this file online, I, I prefer working it on it or with it. Um, in offline mode and uh, now I'll create a new a new file I'm gonna call it uh, shapes.js um, and I'm gonna leave it empty for the moment let's go back to the uh, style.css file I'm gonna add um, HTML and body in here and for defaults, I'm going to set my margin to be with a zero and my height to be 100%. Um, that's for default. Control S to save. At the moment, we have uh, four files. Let's 
close this one. We have d3.html, we have d3.v4.js, we have shapes.js, and style.css. Let's go back to d3.html, and now we're going to reference our two JS files um, to this uh, d3.html. Um, it is very important to make sure that we're um, setting it in the right order. Um, so at the beginning, we're going to use uh, script um, type. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Again, script type. Um, and then reference it to text slash um, JavaScript. JavaScript. And in here, um, we'll add the source to our d3.v4.js and close that script this is for our d3.v4.js and secondly uh, we're going to reference to shape.js but we'll do that uh, not below uh, this in the head tag but in the body tag um, so in here just change it to shapes.js and of course save it